What's up you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Annie here. I am editing this video right now and I cannot believe I totally forgot to film a introduction to this healthy chicken pot pie recipe. I hope you enjoy this video. I want to mention before we get going that next week, beginning of April, we're starting our four week challenge. What challenge? It's going to be working out our arms. So if you're ready for another four week arm workout challenge, join me next week because it's all starting right then and there. Enjoy and I will see you next time. First things first, we're gonna chop the carrots, the celery and the yellow onion. I do about a whole stalk of celery and then five to six large carrots and one medium size onion. And then in this nice cuisinier pot, I put about two tablespoons of olive oil Drizzle that all in and start cooking those vegetables over about medium low heat. Toss them all in and get those going until they are cooked through. So not only are the onions translucent, but the carrots and the celery are nice and soft. Meanwhile, in another pot, I'm boiling two chicken breasts. So we're gonna boil those for about 20 minutes until they are cooked all the way through. Once the vegetables are softened, this is when I add about three cloves of garlic. Make sure your stove isn't set too high because you don't want the garlic to burn. Next up, time for the seasoning. So we're first adding some sea salt to it, some crushed black pepper. This is all to taste. And then garlic powder, mm, one of my favorites. And this is the key to the recipe, thyme, because we all need a little more of it. I love thyme. You can use fresh thyme, but dry thyme is just as good, and it gives that light, fresh flavor to the pot pie. Stir that all in. And then I have my sous chef, my lovely husband, shred up the chicken once it's cooked, so then we'll set that aside once that's all done. Next step, a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. This is going to thicken up the pot pie. So you add in a little at a time and then you mix it all together, make sure the flour is cooked off, and then you add in the rest of the flour. Now you'll add the almond unsweetened original milk. I use this instead of heavy cream. This is what also helps it be healthy. You're going to do two cups of almond milk. I do half a cup at a time. This is when I put it on medium heat, and this is when you'll start to see it really thicken up because obviously the flour is in there as well. And finally, the last vegetables, corn and peas. You have to have peas in the pot pie. Mix that all together. And last but not least, the shredded chicken. Toss that in, get all that goodness mixed together and it's time to bake. And this is what it should look like. Thick and creamy and lots and lots of hearty vegetables and chicken. I'm just using this eight by eight little dish, plopping everything in. Believe me, this serves a hearty four person dinner. Next up, pie crust. Pie crust of your choice. Obviously homemade is probably amazing, but I don't have time for that. So I just bought this Trader Joe's pie crust. I gave it a little egg wash once I did that. And then I also put holes into it so that it can bubble and breathe and cook and not pop in the oven. Put it in a 400 degree oven and you're gonna let it cook until the pie crust is done because everything else is already cooked. So once the pie crust is golden brown, you are good to go. And it is so delicious. Look at this masterpiece. It's beautiful. It's so good. I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you make it in the comment section down below and what you think of this video. Have a great and wonderful week, you guys.